Making Connections When Reading Nonfiction. The book that we read today or listened to today was Ruby Bridges by Madeline Donaldson. What are we learning? Learning intention. Readers make connections to different genres as they read. Success criteria. We will make connections to nonfiction as we read. Making connections. When we make connections, remember, we may sometimes have text to text connection, which means that the text reminds us of a book that we've read. We may have a text to self connection, which means that the information in the text may remind us of a time in our own lives or something that we can relate to. Or we may have a text to world connection which means that information that's read reminds us of something in the real world. Today, I am going to teach you how to write a longer response to reading that explains the connections that you've made about a topic because it helps you build more knowledge. Making connections and writing longer responses. I a deal from the text. Ruby walks through an angry crowd determined to learn each day. My connection. I have a text to self connection. Some of my students are very brave just like Ruby. No matter what problems they have at home, they show up to school ready to do their best every day. How does my connection help me to understand the text better? Even though children are not adults, they still can be strong and believe in themselves. This is my text to self connection. Making connections and writing longer responses. Ideal from the text. On Ruby's first day, an angry mob are outside of front elementary school holding mean signs and saying awful things. This continues to happen each day, but Ruby never gives up. My connection. I have a text to world connection. Many people have been treated poorly in America and around the world especially during the 1900s, just because they are different. Many people become known as heroes for standing up for what is right. How does my connection help me to understand the story of Ruby Bridges? Well, this helps me to understand how a little girl could change the world by being hopeful, brave, and loving. This is my text to world connection. Now it's your turn to write a longer response to reading that explains the connections that you've made about a topic. Don't forget to make to use your making connections and writing longer response chart that's provided. What is the idea from the text? that you're going to make your connection to, and then tell your connection in the My Connection section, and then answer the question, how does my connection help me to understand the text better?